Hey guys, Coffee here. Today I wanted to talk about making money at 45. Uh, one of the largest requests that we do get um, or that I do see around is requests for how I'm making money, um, various ways to make money at level 45. I know a lot of people have been affected pretty heavily by the uh, change in the price of soul stones because of basically all the bots in North America have driven the price on soul stones down to 10 or 11 silver, which it is, that's a good thing for people that get their income not from soul stones, but it's a bad thing for people who do PVP and were primarily making their money from the PVP dailies. Um, I'm gonna go over some of the things that I recommend um, for people. Um, some of these things, you know they might be kind of boring some of them you know there are various things that you can do um, I myself I don't even do all of these things daily um, but the options are out there if you do you know if you're in a spot where you do need money um, and you're looking to farm it uh, the first thing I would recommend is you're gonna do want to do your quests at Mushin's Tower the quests at Mushin's Tower you're gonna have uh, six of them um, you'll get a quest that will basically, um, for everything from uh, floor 5 through floor 8, and then there's an additional quest uh, that goes through the first floor as well. So if you have more money and you're just trying to be very time efficient and you have less time, I recommend spending the 30 silver to buy a 5th floor ticket, and you can finish 5 of the 6 Mushin's Tower dailies um, with... Um, by starting on the fifth floor and you'll save yourself a significant amount of time by not having to do the first four floors. Um, after you do Mushin's Tower, uh, I highly recommend you do your big four quests. So those are going to be your big four dungeons. If you can solo them, it's going to be your best bet. If you can't, that's fine as well. Uh, the big four dailies, as you're going to be looking right here, um, the Lords of Ruin is going to be the one for Brightstone Ruins, negotiating with Hogdani is going to be the one for Hogshead Pasture. Um, that's the one you're going to find all of these off of the boards in each one of these um, zones. And then you're looking at uh, Hall of Ogong here at Monkey Stone. You can pick this one up. Um, when you take the port, it's going to be right here on your map. You'll be able to find that one. And then the last one is going to be um, for the Spider Queen. And what you're going to want to do for these, though, is it's hiding under here you can quite see it but um what the Dukamo uh queen of spiders for this one what you're going to want to do though is if you can do these solo um it's highly recommended or if you have a friend preferably the majority of these can all be duoed um things move a lot faster if you do do things in a duo it's also not quite as boring if you're doing things with friends um after you finish your big four quests the next best quest that you're going to be looking at are going to be doing your 24 man dailies. So that's both for Poharan 24 man as well as Nightshade Harbor 24 man. Um, again, make friends. You know, if you don't necessarily have people you can play with, try to find people around and try to find people and that um, play at the same times as you. Um, one of the best things that you can do to make money in this game is actually farming the four man dungeons. Um, I have a static group of friends that, you know, we will pretty much do our four-man dailies um, every day together, as well as uh, when we're actually trying to um, purely farm to make money, um, farming the four-man dungeons is going to be some of the best money you can get. Um, if you are someone who um, doesn't necessarily want to just go through and do a bunch of daily quests, you just want to be as efficient as possible and you don't mind doing the same task uh, you know 20 30 40 times in a day um, you're gonna have two options for that um, you can either farm brightstone or ruins repeatedly um, the runs will take a little bit longer than um, running pigsty which is the hog donny one here in the hogshead pasture but um, brightstone ruins has the chance to drop the mary potter recipe which is going to sell for 12 to 14 gold. Um, it's not worth as much as it used to be, which m makes it to where pigsty is slightly better now, or has the potential to be better. It's just more consistent because it's faster, because you only have to fight one boss prior 
to um, the final boss for the instance and you can skip all the trash. So um, me personally, I don't have very much experience doing pigsty. Um, so I, whenever I'm just trying to farm and I'm just by myself, I am usually farming Brightstone Ruins still, just because I have a lot of familiarity with um, the dungeon itself and I can run it pretty efficiently. And the reason why those two dungeons are going to be the best money that you can get is because they are going to drop Moonwater Tears, which is going to give you, after taxes, you're making about 1.1 to 1.2 gold per run, um, which those usually are taking you know anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your gear. Um, once you have finished your 24-man uh, dailies, as well as your big four dailies, the recommendation is going to be farming um, at least once a day you want to farm uh, Poharan um, either four man or six man whichever you prefer Bloodshade Harbor once and then uh, Naryu Labyrinth as well um, this is a back to where I mentioned before where if you don't have other friends that play with you um, you know, this is where you're encouraged to find people that play at the same times as you. You know, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, you, I'm not saying you have to go join a clan or do anything big, but if you can find at least two or three other people that like to, you know, uh, they're looking to make money and they're looking to kind of form a static group, um, it will be highly beneficial to all of you and your guys' gear will improve um, dramatically because of that. Um, if you guys are, if you do end up getting to the point where you have two or three friends that you um, can farm with, the best money um, in the game for farming right now is going to be farming Bloodshade Harbor Foreman. Those drop the skill books, and those sell from anywhere from 30 to 500 gold. So, um, you know, the, uh, the drop rates on them appear to be about 1 in 20. Um, RNG can be very swingy. I mean, we've had times where we ran almost where we ran over 25 times and didn't get anything um, and then we've had times where we've ran it four or five times and gotten two or three skill books in those you know four or five runs um, outside of that um, if you want to farm Mushin's Tower um, the seventh and eighth floor of Mushin's Tower can drop the honorary ornaments which uh, sell for about 20 gold right now so if you are um, looking to get uh, multiple things I know some people are farming very hard for the warrior's hat. I've been doing it myself. I've done it, you know, a little, almost 200 times on Jungado, and I just am, I still haven't gotten the hat. I don't know if I ever will. I just kind of gave up on farming it pretty hard. Um, but you, honorary ornaments do drop at a pretty decent rate at a Mushin's Temple or Mushin's Tower as well. So, um,. Yeah, outside of that, one of the other ways to make money that has been kind of hit lately just because margins have gotten a bit lower is actually going to be crafting. Um, the things that you can craft that are going to have the highest margins that make you the most money right now are premium tempered clay refiners and the moonwater transformation stones. The margins on these are going to change kind of every single day um, and there are, depending um, on when you're buying your materials you can be making slightly more or less money depending on when you're buying your materials and when you're selling your stuff um, I'm gonna go ahead and include a document uh, I, that I shared on Google Docs so that you can put in the price of the all the materials that you purchased or the price of what the materials would sell for and um, you can put in the price of what um, the premium temporary refiners or the Moonwater transformation stones are actually selling for the uh, document already includes the 6.5% market fee on there, so you can look at how much you can be expecting to make every 24 hours from crafting. While crafting it isn't necessarily making very much right now, I mean you're only looking at maybe 4 or 5 gold um, per day per craft, um, what's going to be happening with the level 50 patch is um, there's going to be less people that have the level 4 um, in this which you want to be ahead of the curve on that so if you're looking to make money I highly recommend you ensure that you get not only your main character but leveling up 
uh, crafting on uh, alt characters as well. I personally um, have a maxed out Mary Potters and Soul Wardens on uh, three different characters. I didn't want to push it too much further than that. The margin started to drop after that to where it wasn't really worth my time. Um, just because I've gotten to the point where I don't need money as much. I don't feel like I need to just accumulate as much money as possible. I value my time a little bit more than that. So, But um, as we move towards newer content, you're going to want to be ahead of the curve on that. And that's going to set you up to be able to make a significant amount of money moving forward as well. Um, these aren't the only ways to make money. If you are you want you know one of those people that you can't really get the groups for four four or six man dungeons and you just want to do everything by yourself you're more than welcome to do that as well um, if you are going to do that outside of what we've already covered so far you can continue to f to farm and finish all of the quests in misty woods every single day those aren't going to give um, as much gold for a lot of them but um, they do have a decent amount that they still pay out as well as the quests down at the Talos forward base that are going to give you your 14 soul stones per day. Um, but again, with soul stone prices have being tanked as hard as they are, that's a pretty decent time investment for you know 1.5 gold, which you can make much quicker by just farming brightstone runes or pigsty. Um, outside of that, if you're someone who really likes to do PvP, I highly recommend doing your PvP dailies every single day. Um, I personally only PvP just to get uh, my rating, and pretty much that's it. I don't really PvP outside of that. It's uh, not something that is a big priority for me right now. You know, that may change. It may not. But, um, yeah, outside of that, that's going to be what you're going to be looking at for your options to making large amounts of money at uh, max level. There's always opportunities to play the market as well on the marketplace but um, that's for the people that that usually comes once you have money um, outside of that it's kind of risky investments um, unless you really have the money to play with so that's not something I'd recommend for new players for new players I just recommend it putting in the work uh, getting your dailies done every single day as much as you can and uh, that should help you out and get you what you need Hey guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe below to be notified of new videos as soon as they're released. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash coffeebns. Please leave comments below on any video ideas you'd like to see or any improvements you think can be made.